Pretty soon, a much greener fleet will be out on the Lubbock streets. That multi-million dollar grant from City Bus that they got from the federal government last year will pay for cleaner buses. So when can you hitch a ride in the new rides? KLVK's Jackson Pigeon finds out for us. We have vehicles that are 20, now 23 years old that we've been running in service, and they've got eight, 900,000 miles on them. So we had a really compelling story to tell. Lubbock City Bus received almost $40 million in federal grant money in 2022 to buy around 50 new and improved hybrid electric buses. This award is five times more than their previous high of almost $7 million in 2020. Our entire fleet over the next five to seven years is going to be completely transformed. The oldest bus we'll have in the fleet after we get all these purchases made, it will be about 14 years old compared to 23 that we have today. So everybody's super excited about this. Mandrell says the hybrid electric buses ordered so far cost about $875,000 a piece. He says the benefits that come from that higher front end price will be worth it over the long haul. Much like a lot of new vehicles nowadays, when you pull up to a stop sign or you stop at a red light, whatever, the, the engine shuts off, these buses will do the same thing. So then it'll convert itself over to battery power at that point in time, which the, you're saving fuel. And we can geofence areas that when the bus enters that area, it will go to 100% electric. He says the outside of the buses will look almost identical to the current ones. But you'll see a night and day difference once you step in. Almost like a walk on an airplane, you'll have a red aisle down the middle. Out underneath the seats, it'll almost be like a black color. And then the seats are going to be a gray, light gray trim with red inserts. And we've worked with the university to be able to put the Double T logo and the Texas Tech University in the seats in white. So it'll really stick out. Mandrell says 15 custom low emission buses will soon be making their way one by one from California to the hub city. He expects to have all of them out on the streets in December. It's almost like a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to get this funding, 100% federal money, and get our fleet kind of replaced as much as we are. It's going to be a great thing for us to be able to stay ahead of the game rather than always playing from behind. Jaxie Pigeon, KLBK News.